Now you can't always say that it's between the left hand and the right hand or the right hand and the left hand because you might have some kind of wacky function that is not increasing. The increasing this is what made that happen in this case that was like wavy or something. And the way that you picked your rectangles, both of them overestimated or both of them underestimated, you can't always say that. But in this case, we can say that the area is gonna be between those two numbers. Now, those two numbers are like fairly far away from each other, right? So neither of them are good approximations, but I mean, we did four rectangles, right? That's not a lot. I mean, if you were to do a computer, right? If you were to do this in a computer, you would easily do like 10,000 rectangles, right? And the computer wouldn't blink. And if you were to do it in computer, well, you would have to like actually use those formulas super carefully and if you were to take a limit you're doing infinitely many rectangles right that's what the limit does and well infinitely many rectangles is a lot more than four right so I think we should expect this not to be a great approximation but I mean the point of doing an approximation by hand is not for it to be good it's to understand how it works that's like something like this which is like a very numerical thing it's like numerical calculus or whatever something like this is best suited to do computationally right and anything that's well suited to do computationally any of the hand examples you're doing are just to gain an understanding so that when you implement them computationally you have an idea of like how how to do it the best way. I mean, that's why like, I think even in computer science classes, people are like drawing pictures and like sketching things out by hand before like implementing code. Anyway, so that's it for today. 